Let's dive into streaming, the third and final server rendering strategy. Streaming is a strategy that allows for progressive UI rendering from the server. Work is broken down into smaller chunks and streamed to the client as soon as they're ready. This means users can see parts of the page right away without waiting for everything to load. It is particularly powerful for improving initial page load times and handling UI elements that depend on slower data fetches, which would normally hold up the entire route. This might sound familiar if you recall our suspense for SSR discussion about React's rendering. The key difference here is that we are looking at it through Next.js, where streaming comes built right into the app router. Let me show you how to set up suspense boundaries in your application. To save time, I've set up a route called product reviews that renders three elements. And each one saying product reviews, a product component, a reviews component. These components live in our source slash components folder. For both components, I've added intentional delays. Two seconds for the product component and four seconds for the reviews component. This delay mimics what it would be like if we were actually fetching data. With our dev server running, if we visit localhost 3000 slash product reviews, so product hyphen reviews, you will notice the page takes a while to show anything, even just the H1 element. Check the network tab and you will see for product reviews, the server response time is six seconds. That is because it is fetching everything before sending anything. Let's improve this using the streaming strategy supported in the app router. It is super simple. We just wrap our slower components with suspense and Next.js handles the rest. At the top, import suspense from React and wrap both product and reviews components with the suspense component. On the suspense component, specify the fallback prop. Let's go with a simple paragraph tag that says loading product details and another loading reviews. Now watch what happens when we reload. The heading appears instantly, followed by the product details after two seconds, and finally the reviews after four seconds. While the components are loading, we will see the fallback text, loading product details and loading reviews. This is progressive HTML rendering in action from the server to the client. And that wraps up our look at server rendering strategies in Next.js. We've got one more crucial rendering topic to cover next, so let's dive into that. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe, it helps a lot.